Hello children. Today we are going to see Yamitis Manager Program. That is class two and uh, level three. This is okay for class two and level three. So uh, in previous class I taught you making a breakfast. That is lesson four. And today we are going to see lesson five. See here, lesson five asking and giving direction. If somebody is asking for directions. Or they want to go somewhere. They will ask for the direction. So how you can say and how you can ask? That's what we are going to see in this class. Okay, children. Listen to your carefully. Listen to that. You can you have to listen the audio four to five times. Then you have to practice that very well. Okay, children. Now you just listen this. First, we are going to see phrases. Dear children, today. We shall learn how to ask and give directions. To begin with, let us learn these phrases. Please listen. Where is near the opposite to? In front of? Behind the? So, what are the phrases? Four phrases are there. The first one is where is? Where is? Where is that place? So where is second one? Near the near the near the temple or near that store like that you can see. Where is near the next one? This is it. Opposite to opposite to opposite to that flat or opposite to that shop like that you have to say. So moving on to the next that is fourth one. In front of in front of if someone is standing in front of you you have to say you must say in front of me he is standing in front of me so in front of next one fifth one behind the behind the so behind behind means back okay so five phrases are there listen again first one where is second one near the third one opposite to in front of, behind the. So, what are the five phrases? Tell me, children. What are the five phrases? First one is where is. Second one is near the. Third one is opposite to. Fourth one in front of. Fifth one behind the. Okay. So, in this phrases, you have to make, you have to talk. That is, you have to conversation. You have to conversate with someone. You can do this with your parents. So you just listen this conversation. I will show you this conversation. You just listen to this. Where is the library place? It's near the principal's room. Thank you. You are welcome, Jane. So this conversation one is where is. So giving direction by using near the. So here too. That is two phrases we are using here. That is where is near the. So now where is the library Grace? Who is asking that? Jan is asking to Grace. Where is the library Grace? So Grace is telling it's near the principal's room. So when she is telling, she is guiding that. If someone is telling something or you are getting something from others, what do you have to say? You have to say thank you. So she is telling thank you. So Jane is telling what thank you. So you are welcome Jane. So this is a conversation between two girls Grace and Jane. Okay. Again you listen. Where is the library Grace? So Jane is asking where is the library Grace? So you have to ask your mommy. You want to know something which where is Mama? Where is Papa? You can ask like that. Where is my sister, Mommy? You can ask like that. So, where is? So, next. Moving on to the next one. It's near the principal's room. It's near the principal's room. So, she's telling it's near the principal's room. So, your mommy, if you are going to ask your mom, you will, she will tell you what is the question you are asking. Accordingly, she will give you the answer. Next, we are moving on to the next. What you should say if someone is telling you or guiding you for something, you have to say thank you. So that's what she's going to say. Thank you. Thank you. So again, what she after saying thank you from the opposite, you have to find telling you thank you. You must say you. 
drawing comments. So like that, she is telling. See? Listen here. You are welcome, Jane. Okay, so this is the conversation. Where is near the? This is the conversation one. So you have to do this. You have to listen the video carefully and you have to practice this thoroughly. Okay, children? And you go with your parents. And next we are moving on to the play two. Frank, could you please tell me where the stall is? It's opposite to the main entrance, Max. Thank you. Come, let us go. I want to buy a notebook. So here, two boys are here, Frank and Max. So Frank, now Max is asking, Frank, could you please tell me where the bookstore is? So, Frank is telling, it is opposite to the main entrance, Max. So, what do you have to say? Thank you. So come, let us go. Let's go or let us go. I want to buy a notebook. This is the conversation too. This is opposite to. Here, okay, what phrase you are saying? You are saying opposite to. So listen the first one. Frank, could you please tell me where the bookstall is? Second. It's opposite to the main entrance, Max. Thank you, Luca. Second conversation. So from again. So here opposite to. That is, Frank, could you please tell me where the bookstore is? It is opposite to the main entrance, Max. So he is telling thank you. So both of one boy is telling, come, let us go. We both can go and buy a notebook. This is opposite to phrase. We are just got it. Okay, next we are moving on to in front of. Conversation 1 is where is near the. Okay. Conversation 2, opposite 2. So now we are moving on to conversation 3. Here you can see play 3. Listen to this. Can you go to the star room and get some chalk pieces? Ma'am, where is the star room? It's in front of the principal's room. Sure, ma'am. I shall go and get it. So here, teacher is telling to that girl to go and bring some chalk piece. Can you go to the staff room and get some chalk piece? If I am going to tell you to bring some chalk piece, you will do it, right? Like that, that teacher is telling, please go and get some chalk piece for me. So, she is asking. She don't know, she doesn't know where the staff room is. So, she is asking, ma'am, where is the staff room? So, the teacher is telling, it is in front of the principal's room. Sure, ma'am. If I am telling you, it is in front of, it is in front of the principal's room. Means you will say, sure, ma'am. I shall go and get it. That is, that's what you are going there and you are going to get the chalk piece from the that staff room. Okay. So that's what the conversation is going here. That is in front of the teacher and the what the child is doing the conversation. That is by using in front of. So, like this. You just listen again. Can you go to the staff room and get some chalk pieces? Can you go to the staff room and get some chalk piece? So, what is that girl telling? Where is the staff room? Okay, she doesn't know where is the staff room. So, she's asking ma'am, where is the staff room? So, the teacher is telling her. It's in front of the principal's room. It is in front of the principal's room. It is, that is, this is, is. It's in front of the principal's room. So, sure ma'am, I shall go and get it. So, the child replies, that is, sure ma'am, I shall go and get it. So, she said, I will go and get it for you. That is the thing. Sure ma'am, I shall go and get it. So, the first one is, where is near the, okay, conversation one, where is near the, conversation two, opposite two. Now, conversation three, in front of. Now we are moving on to conversation four. It is behind. It is behind. Listen here. Play four. Could you please tell me where the water cooler is? It is behind the library, Max. Thank you, Ben. You are welcome. So this is the conversation between two friends, that is Max and Ben. So could you please tell me where is the water cooler is? So Ben is telling it is behind the library, Max. So he is telling the 
that is that boy is telling max is telling thank you ben so what are ben you have what you, you must say you must say you are welcome so that's what happened here so now you listen to this children you please practice this hear this four to five times and you have to practice this and parents please make a note please ask them to hear this audio and as well as, well as the video and audio then they can do the best so ask them to listen to this video and audio four to five times listen to that please guide them how to do okay so parents you guide them please ask them to listen the video and audio and you please guide them how to do this and you can take a video of your child and you can send that to our school whatsapp now now children you please listen to this play for one by one could you please tell me where the water cooler is could you please tell me where the water cooler is could you please next one it is behind the library so huh? it is behind the library max behind okay it is behind the library max thank you ben thank you ben you are welcome so you are welcome so so what are the concepts the four phrases five phrases today i taught you five phrases what are they where is near the opposite to in front of behind the so you practice this well and your parents will guide you and accordingly you listen to them and you have to do the video and you can send it to our school whatsapp number okay children thank you